Here we're given the angle is in the third quadrant. This is the third quadrant and the sine u is equal to this. We're asked the hand to find out the half angles. Okay, the first thing we need to do is that to know that half angle has some formulas. Um, if you don't remember the formula, you can look it up or it's uh, they're relatively easy to um, to prove as well. As we go along it we'll probably point out a one. So here's a cosine of alpha. Um, for sine, we have a 1 minus cosine alpha. This is uh, cosine, we have a plus. Okay, cosine of alpha over 2. Tangent is just subtracting the two. Uh, one thing that f f on the test, if you don't remember this, this is what one thing you can do to prove it. Cosine theta minus uh, sine theta is equal to uh, cosine of 2 theta. And from here, you can see this one can be substituted as two, si two cosine of theta minus one equal to cosine of two theta. And from there, you can solve for cosine of two theta. Or that one minus two sine squared theta is equal to cosine of two theta as well. And from here, it's easy to prove those two are true. Okay, let's suppose you have access to those formulas. From here, next thing we need to do, obviously we need a cosine alpha trying to find half of the angle. So what we need to do is figure out where the angle roughly is looking at. Okay, so sine of uh, u, where we're given it's 1 over 7, it's in the third quadrant. So we have a minus 1 over here, okay. and 7 over here. Okay, so since uh, we're looking at a sine angle, and then it's this angle over here. This is the U angle. Okay. The reason that um, it's over there is this is one unit, and sine is opposite over hypotenuse over here. So for a cosine of U here in the third quadrant, it's also negative. Okay. And the leg over here, that's adjacent leg, which we need, is using her, um, quadratic formula, not quadratic, using hypotenuse um, squared, which is 49 minus 1, that's a 48. So it's equal to 48 a radical okay, over 7. Or if you want to simplify a little bit, and so cosine of u, or theta, this is actually a u, is equal to a minus uh, 4, 7, and a radical of 3. Okay, now having this piece of information, we're ready to go ahead and calculate the half angles. Sine of this uh, u over 2 is equal to radical. We said earlier is 1 minus cosine of u, which we found over there already, divided by 2. Okay, let's substitute it in there. It's a little on the messy side. 1 plus 4 over 7 radical 3 divided by 2. One of the angle, or one of the answers, and then um, on this side, let's take uh, what a cosine of half angle is. Right, call y minus cosine u. Oh, well, here's one plus, one plus four over seven radical three over two. Now radical seven, um, radical three is one point seven. 3, 2, so this is less than 1, so we're safe over here. Okay. Now having find a sine and cosine, next thing we need to do is find a tangent of alpha or u over 2. This one is equal to sine u over 2 divided by cosine u over 2. Okay. So let's put this together. We have 1 plus 4 over 7 radical 3 over 2. That's the sine. And when I divide it by cosine, I'm going to flip it reciprocal, so 2 goes on top. And then I have 1 minus 4 over 7 radical 3. All right? So here's the answer. Okay. Have a confident day.